Hi everyone and welcome back to the Quebec Garage. Well today I want to turn around and show you what's uh, happening on the 3D printer. So this is what's happening on the 3D printer. I figured I'd uh, maybe do a complete video on what's going on here and what's getting printed. So right now, I have the first part of this project printed. And as you can see, it's the nut. And now the second part's getting printed here. And this is a, I do believe, three hour print. So yeah, it's uh, three and a half, just about four hours to print this. So I'm gonna come back when this is uh, partly done and you'll, you can see what's going on here. And uh, we'll continue on with this whole project and uh, finish the video up with it all together. And uh, we'll go from there. So sit back and enjoy some of the highlights of this new 3D print. We're back at this print again and we are about two minutes away from this piece being finished. So we'll just watch the uh, end of this one being printed and we'll watch the machine uh, park itself. Again, this was a three hour and 18 minute print. And then we'll start the next piece. Um, it'll take a little bit for you guys to guess maybe what this is before the uh, full video is done. But we're at 99% done here. It's just under a minute remaining. And this printer makes uh, some fabulous prints. Real happy with how this printer works. And uh, surprise, I have another brand new one on order. And hopefully it will ship um, maybe end of March or early April sometime. So we'll keep you guys up to date on that when that printer shows up. It's going to be pretty exciting. This is just about done. It's at 99%, uh, no time left. There, the machine's parking itself. And this piece is finished. So we'll get on to the next piece. So this is day two of this uh, new 3D print. It's uh, early in the morning and it uh, printed overnight and it finished. So now I... Uh, going to print the fourth part. So uh, stay tuned and we'll be back with uh, maybe some printing of the fourth part and then to show you what it is and uh, what it's gonna look like assembled and then we'll get it painted. So this part of the 3D print, the fourth piece, took over 20 hours to print. So now I'll take this out to the shop and we will uh, strip the supports off of it and uh, get it ready for paint and uh, we'll show you what the uh, final result is going to be. So stay tuned and we'll uh, head out right to the shop. See you guys in a few. Oh, we're back in the shop and I will show you what three days of 3D printing can make. So this is a one quarter scale 
8 inch municipal water gate valve 150 psi rated so there's the there's the nut the hand wheel the valve stem and the valve body and this is what it looks like when it goes together so we get the hand wheel on here one-handed and the nut so this was about uh, three days of printing to make this and I put uh, some quarter inch bolts in the bottom to uh, stand it up and that's what it looks like so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this valve and we'll come back and we'll show you uh, what it looks like all painted up so there it is it's a uh, 8 inch municipal water valve uh, 3 days of printing quarter scale on the 3D printer and it's uh, very accurate I mean real accurate right down to the proper flanges the bolt spacing so we'll get this set up for paint and we'll be back set up just before paint there you go you can see it just before paint and we'll get this uh, painted right away here and we'll come back once it's painted there we go the valve is painted in uh, municipal yellow uh, they come in red blue uh, I've seen some yellow again this is all the paint that I had so it is painted in yellow probably have to flip it over paint the bottom but you get the idea of what it looks like so there's a uh, two day two and a half day 3d print of a 8 inch municipal water gate valve in quarter inch scale so guys remember to uh, like share and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one bye